explain carrying capacity, you created an analogy of the tragedy of the commons. Yes. Could you explain that for us? This was, the tragedy of the commons is concerned with the problem of allocation of resources. For religious reasons, many people want to adopt a motto like the one that Karl Marx expressed, from each according to his abilities to each according to his needs. In other words, the mere fact that you exist entitles you to your share of whatever there is that's around. Now, no other species of animal operates by this principle. And to think that human beings can do so uh, safely is a very radical idea, and biologists don't think that they can. And as a matter of fact, the experiments that have been tried among human beings have shown that it doesn't work. For example, when you have a common pasture land and anybody who wants to can pasture his cattle on it, this works as long as there aren't many people. But as soon as there are many people, meaning many animals to be pastured, it turns out that people will put too many animals on the pasture and if they're completely free to do what they want to, and finally you have to do either one of two things. Either you divide the pasture up into many different uh, pieces of private property, and each person is responsible for his own, or you say, we'll manage this as a group, we'll appoint a manager, we'll pay him to manage this, and he will tell us how many cattle we can put on the land, and we have to do as he says. So it's either socialism or private property. Either one of those may work. But the unmanaged commons cannot possibly work once the population gets above a certain size. What happens when we run out of resources? The, the earth, if you compare it to a lifeboat, only has so many resources, can only take care of so many people. Well, we don't exactly run out of them. The allocation per person per year becomes less. And we just have to tighten our belts and live on less. And as long as we can live, I suppose we will tighten our belts and complain about it. But we can't expect to be infinitely rich and infinitely numerous at the same time. How many people can this planet take care of at the standard of living that Americans enjoy today? The standard of living that Americans enjoy today cannot possibly hold for the entire present population of the earth. That is, five billion people living on the American standard of living would produce so much pollution. The greenhouse effect would escalate so rapidly and many other things would change for the worse so fast we couldn't possibly do it. So the world cannot possibly live at the American standard of living at its present population size. Uh, if uh, that means either the number of people have to be reduced and or the American standard of living has to go down.